Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your uh, bonus reading for this rest of August. Even though this is for the rest of August, this reading is timeless. Um, so whenever this reading finds you is whenever it's meant to. Uh, okay. Cancer, some of you guys could be, I'm getting something here about like a pro bono case. So if some of you guys maybe have a, a I mean, I'm not a legal professional. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. I'm a tarot reader online. So use your own discernment, um, make your own decisions. But if you guys have a, a really unique case or particular case, I feel like there, there's a lawyer out there that would take your case pro bono. Or if you guys are a lawyer in legal profession, legal field, there's something here about pro bono work. Uh, now, this could just be a metaphor. This doesn't have to be regarding legal stuff or law. Um, it could just be coming to me because I know the term pro bono. Uh, but some of you guys could just be doing something for free just because you like to do it, because it's rewarding, because it feels good. I'm getting pro bono. Now, I feel like there is a particular case, regardless of if this is like a actual legal case or if this is like, if that's just a metaphor, a metaphor for something else, there's something that you take on that's extremely extraordinary challenging. Okay, this is this this one will give you a run for your money. Okay, this one will have you running in circles or searching or something like that. Keep in mind, this doesn't have to be a legal case. This could just be a metaphor case as in you take something on in your life pro bono free of charge you take on a person or a client free of charge and they have their story is insane or incredible extraordinary or something okay uh what do you got for cancer what do you got for cancer rest of august cancer rest of august i'm hearing have no fear someone is here so i don't know maybe somebody maybe somebody comes your way I'm kind of getting a, I'm getting the spirit animal of a bunny. So I don't know if someone here, maybe they have buck teeth, maybe they like carrots, they chew their, maybe they got like a big overbite. Someone kind of hops when they walk or they do a little jump skip. Okay. Maybe I'm getting like a bunny or a gazelle. Okay. Someone's really, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. What do you got for, um, I feel like somebody likes carrots. What do you got for cancer? Rest of August. Okay. We got the five of wands right off the bat. I'm getting somebody feels like a failure. Somebody feels like a failure. They feel like they're making very little to no progress at all. Someone feels like a failure. Now, this could be self-sabotage. This could be limiting beliefs. What's this five of wands for cancer? Rest of August. Some of you guys just need rest. I feel like you start feeling terrible when you're not, when you're not well slept. Now, this card doesn't mean rest, but I'm kind of getting that intuitively. There's something here about like needing sleep. Okay, five of wands and the two of cups. Some of you guys may need to take a break from somebody or just take a break from doing something so much, looking at something consistently. I feel like some of you guys just need a break to get your head together. Uh, five of Wands, the Two of Cups. Some of you guys may be afraid to let something fall to the wayside, but it's like what you're doing, trying to trying to focus on it consistently is counterproductive to what you're trying to achieve. Like you, you think that taking a break is going to have the opposite effect. However, I feel like... Um, what you're doing is actually having the opposite effect. So you, you may think like working super hard is what gets you the results. And maybe it does, but like to the point of burnout, then you're not really helping anything. You're actually making something more stalled. So I just feel like take breaks as needed. Okay. If you have to take a break from somebody, take breaks as needed. But I would want some of you, some of you guys, uh, you and someone else could be, could have been recently separated. Okay. I don't know if this is like by water, like a sea could have separated you guys. So like maybe you guys live overseas. This could be a divorce. This could be just a living situation, a separation. Something could be stressing you out. I kind of feel like take all the time that you need out to deal with something and then, you know, get back to, you know, get back to business when you feel like you again. Um, five of wands, two of cups. Some of you guys may end up uh, breaking up with someone because you feel like you two are better apart. Some of you guys, something actually tightens your bond with somebody more. What is this for cancer? Five of wands, two of cups. Some of you guys may just need to take a break from somebody. Like just, if it's all, if it's like a day, like just take some time away. Maybe that's why all the fighting is happening. Maybe you guys just need a break. Just take a break from somebody, something. Okay. Uh, some of you guys may need to see something different, go outside, take a break from what you've been looking at. Just literally physically leave your house, go somewhere else, go to a different state or something if you can, or just, just go outside. What is this for cancer? Because I feel like that's why your head is spinning. Maybe you're having headaches. That's why you keep arguing with someone or that's where all this conflict is coming from. Like the, that's where it's rising from. The tension is just because you need some rest or some time to yourself. What else do you have for cancer? Um, Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like everything will be all right after, after this. Like everything will be fine afterwards. 
Okay, I just feel like take some time out. Okay, I feel like you and someone may be having some really competitive arguments, combative arguments. It's like you're arguing for what for. I just feel like you need to get out and get out of each other's faces. Okay, this could be coworkers. You're starting to fight with them. Just feel like you need to just maybe move departments or something. Just take some time off, take a break. Okay, you know, you're both fighting for the same thing. Just, just um, you know, uh, just, okay. Just take some, yeah, take take a much needed break. Take some time off. Go 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 deep diving, okay? If you got to just spend some time away from everybody. What else do you have for cancer? Rest of August. What else do you have for cancer? Rest of August. I see some of you guys could end up, uh, could be forgiving somebody. What else? This is someone that owes you an apology. I feel like, I feel like they do owe you something. And I feel like you're, you're forgiving them. What else do you have for cancer? Rest of August. Cancer, rest of August. I'm getting something here about like a seamstress. So I'm getting like a cutting, cutting stuff from the seams. So I don't know if you guys are, um, if you guys make clothing, if you guys sew things together, I'm kind of getting a seamstress. Okay. Like a sewing machine. And you're just kind of someone here measures like 10 times. They cut once they measure twice, cut once or something like that. I'm kind of getting a, like a needle and thread being really careful, sewing things together. I'm also getting things are being interwoven in your life, like literally like interwoven in your life. I'm kind of getting that. Okay, we got the Ace of Cups and the Hangman. I see you guys taking some time off to do something that you enjoy. This could be you taking time off to hang out with someone that you enjoy. Maybe you need to hang out. Maybe you need to stop hanging out with that friend, start hanging out with this one for this week. Then, you know, alternate. Okay, what's the Ace of Cups and the Hangman for Pisces? I feel like I see you doing something that you enjoy where you kind of get to relax, take some much needed time off. This feels like a hobby. I'm also getting someone who's like a hobbyist. Hobby Lobby? Are you going to Hobby Lobby? Is that a thrift store? Some of you guys could be going thrifting. Ace of Cups, the Hangman. Some of you guys, I see you guys hanging out with the Taurus. What is this for uh, Cancer, rest of August? I see you doing something that you really, yeah, it makes you feel peaceful. Some of you guys could be hanging out with a, a Pisces, definitely. Ace of Cups, Hangman. The Ten of Cups. I, f I'm, I, f I see you hanging. I see you hanging on to something by a thread, or hanging on to something where like it's uncontrollable. Um, like maybe like you're having a really good time, like uncontrollable laughter, uncontrollable tears of joy. Um, honestly, this feels like a much needed rest. Okay, this is this is like a rest from trying to control a situation. Okay, I don't know what you've been trying to. This feels like this is a really big thing for you. Rest of August, I feel like you're taking a mental break. And maybe you guys are hanging out with kids, hanging out with family, hanging out with little sis, little bro, or little cuz, or something. Auntie, uncle. Okay. Auntie, uncle. Somebody. Okay. Mommy, dad. Okay. Ace of Cups, hangman. Um, you guys could develop feelings for someone. Uh, for some of y'all, I'm getting an Aquarius. Someone's very interested in you. This could be someone that you work with. For some of y'all, uh, yeah, for the collect, I did a collective reading today. For the collective, I was getting an air sign. So maybe air signs are predominant. I mean, I have the rest of the zodiac to do, but some of you guys, this could be a Gemini, it could be a Libra, it could be an Aquarius. I see you taking comfort or solace in somebody, maybe taking refuge in someone like in their home, you know, uh, you know, laying, you know, leisure time with somebody, spending time with somebody. I feel like um, you guys could be, we did have the hermit, so you guys could be spending time by yourself. But some of you guys, I feel like there is somebody that accompanies accompanies you on this journey. Okay, this could be um, could be a work colleague, friend, coworker. Okay, give me one more thing for this for um, for Cancer, Ace of Cups. I, I see you also. You know, Cancer. Whatever you've been trying to push ahead and do, you find the answer when you relax. Like you find the answer when you take this break, and that's what Hangman moment really is for: is to come to some kind of realization, epiphany. So I feel like you kind of figure out the answer when you stop pushing for it so much. Yeah, you figure out what needs to change or what, what you have to do. Okay, the Ace of Cups, the Magician, and the Death card. So I feel like some of you guys decide to end something and completely go a different way. Maybe this is like new networking or completely rewire something, change everything up that you've been doing before, like complete revamp. Okay, complete revamp of something. Magician and the Death card. I, see, I feel like you see a better, more efficient way to do something, a better use of your skills, a better use of your time and your money and your resources. Okay, what else do you have for cancer? Rest of August. 
Cancer, rest of August. Some of you guys can be done with a Scorpio. Cancer, rest of August. Okay, we got the, the title card. I don't really know how to, I don't, I'm about to take that out. I don't know how to read that card. I could read this intuitively, but it's, okay. Cancer, rest of August. The Ace of Wands. Some of you guys are testing your abilities. For some of y'all, I'm hearing something about testing your gangster. Someone here is, I don't know if someone's testing your gangster or if you're testing your own gangster. Some of y'all are testing like how much, Maybe you got you. Maybe you guys are pushing yourself to your limits, seeing how how far you can take something. Or, you know, I feel like cancer. Something here takes guts to do or to say, and you're just kind of testing yourself, like testing the waters. Like, can I really do this? Can I jump into it? Like, how do I feel about it? What do I bring to this? So I feel like you're testing your uh your inner abilities. Some of you guys could be developing your abilities further. Now I feel like with the tower, you're actually making progress. This looks like progress to me. Okay. The Ace of Wands and the Tower. I feel like you're actually really skilled. You're actually really talented. Okay, you're good at what you do. I'm getting something here about like someone's a schmuck. Okay, and you ain't no schmuck. Mama ain't raised no bitch. Okay, and if your mama ain't raised you, well, God ain't raised no bitch. Okay, your spirit guides, your ancestors ain't died for no, for you to, you know. Ace of Wands, the Tower. I feel like this is a groundbreaking discovery or revelation. This is like the Eureka moment. I see you celebrating. Ace of Wands, the Tower. What is this for Cancer? Rest of August. Ace of Wands, the Tower. I feel like you find the perfect mix. Like you find the medium of something. You find the perfect mix of this and this. And then I'm getting temperance energy and then you combine. But you find the perfect mix of like the two. So I don't know. Maybe you, I don't know if this is like mixing drinks. It could be a bartender or you're, you literally are just thinking about mixing two elements together. Like this could be mixing your passion with something that you do for work. Like you're figuring out how to balance it or how to incorporate something into a thing. I feel like you're figuring out how to make something even more expansive. Um, some of you guys are mixing your passions with what you do emotionally. Something, uh, I feel like something could take an emotional toll on you. Your emotions could take a hit, but I do feel like something is rewarding. Um, something is rewarding work. You, you may get rewarded for something as well. Something that you do Maybe just for your talent or your skill of mixing two mediums, mixing two things that don't seem to go together, together. Some of you guys could have Sag in your chart. Okay, Ace of Wands, the Tower. I feel like you will be triumphant. Now, I feel like the only thing that you have to do, Cancer, is to just start. Just start something or just start. Like, even if you have no place to start from or no ground rules, no nothing, just start. Okay, learn the rules and then learn to break them. I kind of feel like that feels right. Okay, but that's what I got for you, Cancer. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Uh, I hope it resonated. Once again, these readings are timeless. So when you find them is when you find them. Um, if the title resonates, if it doesn't resonate at this time, this may not be for you. Uh, if it doesn't resonate at all, this reading may not be for you. Don't force a message. But um, I hope this helped you in some way. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, Cancer.